Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Couch Crocheter, episode 49. This is part four of my What Can I Crochet in 24 Hour Challenge. But I definitely cannot put that on the board, nor do I have enough letters for all that. Look what I found, guys. I came into the headquarters tonight to get some crocheting done on this 24-hour challenge. Before I even put my book down, I looked, and there is another skein of the tea time. So I can finish um, all of the granny squares in this, which make me very, very happy. And then here I have the, gra the granny square blanket that I made first that I'm duplicating, and it is 9 by 8. So I'm about to... Um, count how many squares I have and then how many I need to do and then I will get on this 24-hour challenge stay tuned all right guys just want to show you what I got done um, so far I forgot to take a video of when I got up here today um, but here we go so this is what I got done so far and I think I've only been working for about an hour I have eight more no uh, five more no, six more, I'm sorry, six more squares um, to make of the tea time. And then I'm going to start um, joining as I go and attaching and getting that all done. So I have about two hours to crochet tonight, um, and I'll inform you as to why in just a moment. So I plan on at least getting hopefully two rows done, um, but we'll see. That's my goal. And then tonight when I come in, because technically it is morning, it's like 2 something in the morning. No, maybe like 3.30 in the morning. Um, because I work third shift, I can't sleep. So I thought I would come up here and get to work on this. Um, and uh, let's get it done. So guys, I thought I would finish up these squares and talk to you at the same time and see how that goes. Um, I wanted to give you a little update on the house and as to why this is not getting done um, a little faster within the last 24 hours that I have had off. I thought that I would be able to squish in a little bit more time to be up here and crochet and hang out and do this challenge. As you guys know, my house was supposed to come on Wednesday. So yesterday around four o'clock in the afternoon, um, wait, was it yesterday? Well, technically it would have been yesterday. It depends if you're counting right now, today or yesterday. Um, okay. So the other day, <laughs> um, we got a phone call from the, from the house people, White Pine Structures. Um, and they let us know at, uh, four o'clock that day that our house would be there at eight o'clock in the morning. No, at, I'm sorry, at noon, at noon the next day, which was then technically yesterday. So being at four o'clock in the afternoon and, you know, we were just about to lay down to get our nap um, because, you know, we both work third shift. So we did not get to even have any kind of time to, you know, do what we needed to do because it wasn't supposed to be there till Wednesday. So I had planned on Wednesday afternoon. So I planned on like getting done work Wednesday morning, going up and, um, you know, getting stuff together and, um, taking up the trash and moving the stuff that was next to our house, um, over to the other side, move the garden stuff in front of our house to in front of our storage thingy, which is Ducky. And, oh, I can't put it down because I'm on a time thingy. Um, so long story short, we ended up getting the bottom half of our house yesterday. Um, and we just weren't ready. And that kind of like threw a little bit of a kink in my plans of coming up here because then I didn't get to sleep all day. And I still, you know, got done work the night before which meant that I got no sleep all day. And then I planned on coming up here and I did come up here and I crocheted for, oh, about an hour. Um, and then I ended up falling asleep on the couch for like three hours. I was out, done. Next thing I know, my phone's ringing. Matt's like, honey, are you ready? I'm done because I meet him downstairs. He just calls me and says, I'm heading out to the car. Um, 
so yeah, I had great intentions last night to coming up here and getting like a good five, six hours done. Yeah, I got an hour and then, um, yeah, slept for three. Because then when I walked in the door yesterday here at headquarters, because I've been picking up the cotton over there um, on the wall, there's little holes in it. Um, so <laughs> I came in last night and there was a yarn avalanche, a yarn, a yarn avalanche, or just keep it at that. It's too early to be making up words right now. <laughs> so I had to reorganize all that. So I didn't get started right away. And then I had to take out the trash and I wanted to vacuum the floor and water the plant. Oh, which reminds me, uh, here's an inserted, uh, picture of how my money tree is doing since I replanted him, which I think he looks amazing right now. Uh, some of the leaves did turn brown from being, you know, not up here. Um, and the trauma of being replanted. And I did lose some stalks. Um, but the new growth at the top, even within the last, um, I'd say like week. Oh, only one there. Did I do one there? Yep. Um, in the last week, even the new sprouts have like grown tremendously. Um, I think he's starting to branch out a little bit instead of being so huddled. Um, he's looking great. He's, he's recovering well. I'm very happy about my little money tree. Um, so yeah, guys, that's why I haven't been up here and doing what I need to do for this 24 hour challenge. I'm sorry. It's taking you longer. Life throws you curves all the time. I thought I would have, you know, ample time before the house came, you know, and we had everything all set up. Because we have to, you know, borrow a truck to get the cement thingies and, you know, you try to line up your, I don't know, if you guys ever saw, it's here on YouTube and it makes me laugh every time I see it. And this is what I refer to when I say my drunken squirrels. There's this video here on YouTube, um, up at the search bar, if you put in, uh, drunk, drunken squirrel on crab apple, I think it says on the title. The thumbnail is snow with a squirrel hanging upside down on a tree. Um, and he's just, he ate too many rotten crab apples and got a little tipsy toozy and you can tell. And that's how I refer to my drunken squirrels. So I say that quite often. I don't think I've ever mentioned it here actually, but in my world, I do say it, um, quite often because, you know, instead of getting my ducks in a row, no, 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 I don't have ducks, honey. Nope. Nope. I got drunken squirrels. <laughs> and when you see that video, and please do watch it, because I think it's hilarious, um, that you don't understand what I'm referencing to. So I try to get all my drunken squirrels lined up, and one little guy got out of line. <laughs> and he needed some help to get back in line. So I am here, and I'm crocheting, and I'm doing it, and let's see how much I can get done. I am going to meander, gander, my goodness, gander back over to the couch, put on some YouTube, check some of you guys out, see what you're up to, see what you're doing, see what's going on, and work on the rest of those squares. But I just wanted to tell you that the house, the bottom half of the house, oh, wait, I didn't stop, I didn't finish. So only the bottom house came, and he showed up at 11 instead of 12, because then he said that he would be there at 12, and he showed up at 11, which was awesome. Came off the truck with no problems. I did get a video, so I'll insert it here um, of a little video clip of the house coming. Off the truck, and then I'll insert the two pictures that I took. Oh, and we got a guest visitor. Oh my gosh. So as soon as it came off, it wasn't even off the truck, actually. It was just on the ground. As soon as it touched ground, um, my garden is infested with praying mantises, which I don't like them. I hate them. I despise them, but I leave them alone. They leave me alone. I leave them alone. We have a mutual agreement. You do what you need to do. I'll do what I need to do. Kill all the shit that, you know, kills my plants. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. I won't kill you because, you know, they're going extinct or whatever. They're on the do not kill list. Um, not that I would kill it anyway, but 
So as soon as it touched ground, this praying mantis like hopped. I don't even know from where because they just leveled it out not that long ago. I mean, my garden is right there, but it's on the opposite side, as you'll see in the pictures. Um, anywho, so as soon as it touches ground, he hops on and like hangs out for the whole entire ride of getting like put in its spot and like, um, you know, leveled out and moved over and inspected and yada yada and he hung out for like a good i don't know three hours afterwards i got too many here this is what i get for trying to talk and walk at the same time doesn't come naturally for some people and i'm not some people <laughs> um so then tomorrow morning um he said it's the crack of dawn so i'm not going to be up here again too late tonight because I have to be back home to get the roof delivery. It came with the side panels. You'll see in the picture. Um, it came with the side panels on the on for the top floor, but it did not come with the actual roof. So tomorrow they're coming with the actual roof, um, attaching it. And then uh, I want them to do a couple of touch up jobs on the paint. I guess it hit like trees or whatnot on the way over which is natural for where we live. So um, that's what's going on tomorrow morning, which is technically like, I don't know, three hours from now or whatever, because it's got to be like maybe close to four now. So I want to be home by six because if they get there, you know, really early, again, I just want to be there for the delivery and videotape that for my own records, not only share with you guys, but for my own glorious records. Um, so guys, I'm going to gander over to the couch now that, I've gotten that all out of the way. I am excited. Um, I am scared. <laughs> I guess I'll keep talking because um, I called my mom and dad yesterday. Like as soon as we found out that it was supposed to be there like in two hours versus like two days and two hours. <laughs> um, and I couldn't breathe. I was having like the biggest like anxiety attack. I couldn't breathe. So my mom doesn't answer the phone. So I call Gail's number and you know, she answers the phone, but she sounded like she was sleeping. And I was like all squeaky in my voice. And I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry. You were sleeping. Go back to sleep. And she's like, no buddy, what's the matter? And I'm like, I can't breathe. <laughs> and she's like, why? What's the matter? What's the matter? I'm like, my house is coming in two hours. And she's like, well, this is good. I'm like, I know. I'm like, she's like, so then what's the matter? I'm like, I'm excited and I'm scared. <laughs> so even at the age of 44, you still have to call into your mama crying and saying, help me calm down because I'm having like a panic attack right now because I'm so excited. <laughs> and honestly, I thought the way that they said it would come in like sections. I thought like the floor would come and then the walls would be like, you know, different parts. And, um, you know, the, the way that I thought it would come, I thought it would be in parts and they would assemble it there, but no, it came all first floor, all together, stairs in it, two sides, um, already attached to just fold up and then they can lower down the roof. Um, so I was shocked about that when it came down the driveway, I was like, oh my God, like it's a whole bottom floor. Like I can walk into my house. <laughs> Uh, so next step, I guess, is to call the electrician for the electric company and have them run a line out to us from the main who's in the wet shit. I don't know what they're called. Um, wait, I do. It's when they blow the main. Yeah, I can't think right now. This is what happens when you're up at wee hours in the morning. Your brain is mush. Anywho, for real now, I'm gandering off of this. I'm getting off of this and gandering over there onto the couch to finish up these squares and see how much yet I can get done while I'm up here. See you soon, guys. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, it's 6.08 in the morning and I gotta head out. I wanted to be home by 6. 
I'm going to head out shortly. This is what I got done. I did not get complete two rows done. Um, I got one and a half, just about one and a half. I have three more squares to do to finish that row. Um, and then, you know, I'm done that row. So let's go over my little time chart here. And I know that it's going to be a little messed up because of the breakup and the house delivery and yada yada. So day four, which actually was yesterday, um, 11, one, I started at 2 41 AM and ended, I'm sorry, 12 41 AM and ended at 2 AM. That was 79 minutes. So then, um, when I came in tonight, I did get here at 3.32. Well, I got here earlier than that. But I started crocheting at 3.32, and I just ended at 5.32, which is exactly um, two hours or 120 minutes. So between last night and tonight, I got one hour and 99 minutes done, which ends up to be three hours and 31 minutes. Now, I know that that does not seem like a lot, but... Again, the house delivery was thrown into the mix, and I'm getting the roof today, so I have to go home real quick and get that. And I do plan on coming in again tonight and working on it, and I'm taking the other project that I started, which was the um, pie shawl by uh, Fiber Spider as well. I'm going to take that home today, and I'm taking my paper home with it. I am going to try to get some done on that as well and then record that time. So I'm not going to be just doing it tonight. I hope to get some crocheting done um, today. Alrighty, guys, this is the end of this episode. Thanks for stopping by and hanging in. I'm super excited about my house delivery, so I might be MIA for a little while. I am going to nail down this 24-hour challenge. And then after that, I think I just might take a little break. Um you know, with the house here and there's lots of stuff that I need to get done with that. My time is just going to be a little thin. So you might not see me, you know, once a week or twice a week. It might be like once a week and a half or something. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for stopping by guys. Be safe. Stay groovy until the next time. Bye.